Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will create this app. In React JS, whenever a depending drop down list or depending select, okay. So, whenever we select country, so based on that country, that will show the state of that country, and uh, based on that state, it will show the state cities of that uh, state, okay. So, we will perform this task. So, let's get started. So, first of all, I have some data so you can fetch the data from API. The main concept here is that how to display the dependent uh, select, okay. So I have these data, first of all the countries, okay, the country is the name and the state, in the state, the name of the state, I assign first, okay, in the cities, area 1, area 2, okay, I assign these names, just for displaying purpose, and then I have created three variables, country, state, and uh, city, and then I have created three states, the select tags. So now, first of all, we will display the cities. So to display the cities, I will just write countries that we have that data dot map. Which I will use CTR country names, and here I will display in option CTR dot name. I will display the name of the country, and uh, same to this value will be CTR dot name. So let's check first of all the countries. See, we have these two countries, Los Angeles and Virginia. Now we will, whenever we change this, okay. So we should change the states also. So based on that, I will use unchange event is equal to change country. I will create this function now. Const change country is equal to so let's first of all update our country seat country and we will assign event a target dot value after changing the country so now we will update our states so okay based on that country we will assign the states so to update the states i will write i will create one another variable for the states const states city states is equal to use state hook and it is in array type with us and here I will just write six states okay now six states uh, here I will assign the um, I will filter now the countries okay countries dot uh, dot find okay I will use find and here I will assign CTR in the row function so here i will uh, check whenever the country's name that we have selected that became so i will write ctr that name was equal to equal to the country that we have selected even the target dot value whenever that was selected so take the states of that um, country okay take the states of that uh, country please take the state of that country uh, we took the states, so now we will just uh, use the states and we will display our states here. To display the states, I will just write the map function again. We will use states, states, okay, dot map, and here we will use state. Again, the option, and I will display state dot name. Same to the value. Okay. So now let's check it. By default, we don't have any state, but whenever we select a country, for example, as in this, so see the state didn't update it. So let's check it. State that states that mark. States, cities, states, yes, states, states, okay. So let's check it. Let's check Virginia, let's check V first, V second, let's check Los Angeles, CL first, second, and third. So we now whenever we select this, uh, this state, so based on that, we should take the cities. So let's call unchange event here also. I will just format first of all. 
Let me just add a little bit. Okay, come here and change. Change, change. I will create this function. Cast. First of all, I will change the state, six state, and I will assign a event dot name. After that, uh, what I should do, I will just now I create another variable for the cities. So let's just try to cast cities. Cities. I think we already have the cities. Let's see And now let's just try it here. Now we will update the cities. Yeah, we need city. Cities. Six cities and uh, now I will uh, use the fire function again and and these states okay based on these states Next states dot find and state and function state dot name was equal to equal to the uh, event dot target dot dot cities we will take the cities based on that state so now we will be updated our city so let's select them cities dot city and city dot name that's So let's check it. First, select this, then select the first, then the second. Let's select the body. And then let's change state. Six cities, six cities. States that find, states that find, states. So the problem is that we don't have a name in these cities. Okay, so let's check the cities. See in the cities we don't have any name property. So we will directly print that without this name. Okay. Let's see fresh. So now let's select Fergie name. Select first. See area three, area nine, and area uh, ten. But uh, instead of it, we should see separate cities. Oh, sorry, I have written just all of them in just single quotation. I will separate the quotation for all of them. Okay, so now let's check that. Refresh it. See, entry the single state, second city, three and four. Now, whenever we change this, so let's change it that. Okay, let's take the video of city and uh, change, we will run and change. City.
Okay. So let's check it out. Select, select. Okay, so that's it.